one? Um, well, it's, yeah, it is generally, but, but Now this, this is, the reason it's a fantastic program for anybody um, who's just starting out making music on computers because what's really helpful about it is that it visually, it mimics a real studio or thereabouts. So a real studio you would find would have a rack like this, so they've done this pretend rack that looks like it's got things where you can slot in hardware. Um, and um, a, a sequencer would normally be on a computer, but this actually indicates what it is that you're loading up hardware-wise. And unlike a lot of software, that makes it really clear when you're just trying to get your head around how it all works and what you need to do to make things work. So, exactly like the first one has arrived, okay? Now, the thing to remember is that you may expect that having loaded up a conga, that you could then load up a second drum loop of some kind. You can't do that on, on the one machine. You have to load up another machine. Each machine will only play one loop. So they're not multi timbre basically. So you can only load up one loop per machine. But there's no limit to the number of machines you can load up. You can stack them high. So if you want 10 loops running simultaneously, you can have them. And you can basically have as many loops as you've got memory in your computer. So, so you think, yeah, I want to hear what that sounds like with the other one. So, the button I need to hit to track, yeah? And there is the data arrived there. Now, in exactly the same way, you can mess with that as well. So you can, you can customise both of those loops. I'll let you play with that. Thank you. 